Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks when feet and preparation combine The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe Jesse Royal representing for I Just Star Mindset Rich forever These two genres, which is reggae and, and um, hip hop, Zim. All right. Um, yeah. The I was saying that you know these two genres need to come together for a specific reason. Zim. Yes. Could could I could I relate that um, to the masses out there? What 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 you know what the I did 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 um did I specify about? Okay. In 1937, black Americans went to England, back England, to reason with his majesty, telling him they're not going to sit idly by and watch Italy take it over there. They want to come and fight. Black Americans, yeah. So, what can they do? And His Majesty, after reasoning with them, they agreed that a constitution for the black race is what is necessary to organize the black race, and then the black race can come to Ethiopia's defense. All right. So, is the black American is the leader for you? Know? Let me just tell you that. Is the black American is the headquarters for we the black peoples of the world. Listen, man, them big in Africa. I tell you, by them headquarters the world. And when you check the world, Africa is included. So if Africa is included, that means the back side and they, they, they run all black people business. Right? That's what it is. All right? So, when Ethiopia, black people. Realize what I am saying is true. Then they will realize that hip hop, wrong things. Hip hop is the head of all black people because hip hop is black culture. Yeah, I got it name, hip hop. Black culture. And it's the man in the street come up with the culture. So it's perfect. Yeah. Black Americans run the constitution. They run the headquarters. Yeah. Now, if for any reason we the black people of the world choose someone else to represent us. That's a democratic right. Yeah, that means uh, anyone can represent us. Anyone. Yeah. They just have to be elected. And there's an election process that all go through, right? So by electing the one to lead us, you know, we have our leader. But I'm telling you, it is registered 
as a New York operation for the black race with its headquarters established in Manhattan, Harlem. All right. That's what is there on the history book. Now, reggae get involved in 1970 when Solomon Wolf got to Ethiopia and got the land grant placed in his name. It was in the headquarters name, but they did not come and do anything about it. So it has to be put in somebody's name. So that means Sala is the first one who come to deal with it. And he's the first one to get that responsibility. All right. So there goes reggae. So if hip hop and reggae come together, they're going to hear about something that's bigger than the two of them. Bigger than the two of them. Yeah. And if they really have any love for them people, then we embrace it. Because this plan here we are talking about, no, 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 ask none of them for no money. No, we don't want the money from none of them. Yeah. But so we steer. Yeah. Who we want money from? Who the fans? Yeah. We want from the fans. Yeah. Who the fans come and dig up the program? Who the fans come and advertise the program? But we don't have to give you the money. Who the fans just big up the program in our own thing, you know, I tell them about the budget for going for the big up the program. No, 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 you know, your own way, you know how to big up the program. Because it's a big program. All black people, it's big enough for the start poverty in Africa. You understand? So once we sit down together, keep up and reggae, and ask ourselves the tough questions. We will come up with the solution. Because you see, Jalasta Farah, you know, married the two of them, you know. Hip hop and reggae, you know. Yeah, he married the two of them, you know. For black people benefit. Yeah. So that is what it is, my brother. Hip hop and reggae. They need to really come to the table and listen to this story here and find out if it is true and then now they will know what to do. It's a lyrics that we are music. Yeah, find out if it's true. Now you know what to do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Rastafari. Yes, yeah, all right. Yes. Um, because interesting, you know, we just uh, recall some of the, you know, some of the, you know, the reasoning that we had offline. Uh, I, I, I remember, if you don't mind, you know, the, 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 the I mentioned um, Caesar when Caesar came, came, came to New York in, in, in one point and um, him, 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 him. Uh, I think he said that him, him, him wish if he wished he did him, him did speak to the eye first when he first came came to New York. Um, just refreshing that for me because okay. it, I think it, it it had something to do with um, he was speaking about Jay Z and, and 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 also Damian Dash. Yes. Jay-Z and Damon Dash. Yes. He had uh, started a partnership with them. And then I find out about it. And I invited him to the office of the Ethiopian World Federation to reason with him. So when he come to the office and he asked me what I want him to do for the Federation, I tell him, introduce us to Jay-Z and Damon Dash. And he said to me, say, that's not what the members then will be near, said to me. He said, what the members then said to you? They want me to do a show. He said, how much you charge to do a show? He said, 35,000, but we won't charge you no so much, we'll charge you no less. So we said to him, you're going to get 100,000 to do a show again. He said, no. We said, all right, then introduce me to GSC and DM and Dash and make sure you get 100,000. When I demand them, you know, we come with him, you know. Said to him, Sizzler, listen to the brother. 
the new way my talk of. But he never listened to me. And he leave out of the office. And go call with the man that. And Jay-Z. Because them did have an album. Ready for release. And them said they're not ready for release it yet. And him get mad. And cost them off. Yeah, it cost them so bad. That I don't think so. Then go one step further from that, that I cost them there. Then just lock it up. I said, no, we're not, we're not dealing with that. All right? But I don't know about that. You know. So the next time he sees his land now, he come at the office. And he said to me, sir, he had me in four, and I said, who that? He said, dear man, gosh. He said, what? So let me take the phone from him, he said to him, dear man, gosh. He said, hey, Mr. Dash. He said, I'll give you a feeling, you get it? He said, no. So I said, Mr. Dash, he said, sister, you don't give the man the gift. No, I don't. Sure, all right. So I said, all right, let me talk to you about that another time. Yeah, man, what I'll give you. But here is one now. We have some important news to really discuss with you now. Yeah. But we can't discuss it on the phone. We need you to tell me when we can come at your office and talk to you. And he said, okay, talk to my secretary and she will check my schedule and give you an appointment. So said, thank you very much, Mr. Dash. All right. So when we hung up the phone now, Sizzler said to me, you want to see, you know, me and them fall out, you know. And I said, yeah, what happened? I never argument with them, I'm a customer. What? You shouldn't do that, man. So, yeah, hold on, we are customer over the business. He said, yeah. He said, all right, hold on. Do you have a lawyer? He said, yes. He said, you for make your lawyer. Call with the uh, over where you want to the business. And when them come to you and ask you about the business, you tell them, say, you don't know nothing about business, you know about the show. So you come to do the show, then to talk to your lawyer. <laughs> him said to me, say, Boy, I wish I did talk to you when I come to America for the first time. Yeah. So, I got him said to me, but he didn't really talk to me again. He just out there by himself and I doing things. And he didn't mention nothing about what we're doing at the Federation. We give Constitution 300 of them for the way of Jamaica and make the people know. We give the Constitution in a camera ready, which means they're ready for the printer. You just give to the printer and then give back some little book. Like a green book where you can fit in your pocket, your top pocket, yeah, at that size there. So I give it to him that way there, and I give it to him, don't make a ready, yeah, then make a ready, 300 of them make a ready, and the camera ready to make up as much as you want to make up. And don't realize it, tell him, hey. Then time they don't realize it, say yes, I'm interested to help in that regard. And I never tell you, not never happened, nah, not from Bonnewheeler, not from Sizzler, not never happened. Mm-hmm. So, my question to the eye now is in when you, when you had the chance to, to speak to Damien Dash, why you didn't give him like a brief rundown of what? You, you wanted to initially speak to him about if you did get a date with him. Why you never just, you know, give him a small scope at least reason with him for all like 10, 10, 10 minutes, you know what I mean, on the line? You know something? Then down there, I was very inexperienced when it comes to dealing with those kind of people, right? See it. So when he, when he said to me, talk to the secretary, she will check my schedule and give you an appointment. I was confident that that would have been happening. So I go to the secretary now and I tell her and then she says she will check it and get back to me. So I am satisfied 
that I did a good job. But if it was to happen to me now, I would say this to him. Okay, check with my secretary and she will check my schedule and give you an appointment. Hear me now. With secretary. We don't want to talk to your secretary. Why you for tell me when to come check your hair? Yeah. And that's something that I'll deal with it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the secretary now will come at gate man now where uh, decide to block the way and then eventually tell me say no I'm not time for that but then now when he find out so she tell me that he write me and tell me say she shouldn't did say that to you that she don't know where I deal with you understand but then tell me now you know he must see like mash up you know so he now want to deal with me so he said to me say yeah I do have certain things on my desk right now that is uh, uh, is taking a, a lot of my time so I couldn't put nothing else on my desk right now. And then now if, if, if any changes, I will let you know. And and just leave me off at that. So it never gone nowhere. Yeah. But then still the ball. Says that. Maybe we can make it up with them too. Who knows? You know, you just have to say I'm sorry. Yeah. And it would not solve a lot of problems, man. It would solve a lot of problems. You can imagine it. Them brother they are talking about we are talking about. We have no. Then we would not find the real reason why hip hop and reggae get so big. The real reason is so that we can't help black people. But we often know about the plan to help black people. Yeah, this is not a plan we come from I am I. This is a plan we come from Ailee Selassie the first. This is a plan we come from the only man on the planet where can you organize the race. Yeah. And so, yeah, man, we look forward to your Francis and everybody else. Yeah, that is all of us thing. It belongs to all of us. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yes, I. All right. Um, interesting, you know. Very interesting. Very interesting. But all right, let me ask the idea. See? Um, with with the with the 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 the, the, the Ethiopian World Federation. See? Why is it that we're not seeing our hearing some of these information why 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 is it the thing is like it's darman there's a darman sitting there and you know we, we, we we're not seeing any practical type of movement from from the organization why you know why things are not um in the people's eyes now you know what I mean, especially when you know we're living in an age and time where social media is is, is 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 one way that you know people can know about what is going on. You know, you have so much different platforms. Why is it that we're not seeing and hearing, getting the information that you know the black world? You know, supposed to you know supposed to absorb right now. You know, if we make move into Africa. Uh, <clears throat> the simple reason is that you have members in the federation who do not want a truth and a reconciliation conference that would bring all five of them together, along with the constitution so that we can come up with one convention and have everybody support it. That's what is needed. But none of them is prepared to do it. So why, 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 all right, why, if, if there's one headquarters, why is it that you, you, um, we need so much different, because um, they are talking about five different entities here now. Why isn't it just one thing? Uh, you know, why why this splinter um, type of thing? It, it's sounding like because you have these people who come along and take up the work and don't know what is in the constitution. So that from the day they take up the work, they are wrong, and they continue to be wrong all the way through. 
So right. why, why so the constitution? Me, why the constitution is not given to these individuals so they, they they know how to operate? In 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 in. They have what we did. So what we need to do is bring them to the table, all five of them. Because in the constitution it says that whenever there is such a problem in the federation, local number one have a responsibility to bring the, 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 these members together and then reason it out, right? So local number one... So is local, member, is local number one active at the moment? Where is that branch? Is that branch in yeah, New York? Right. Yeah, yeah, it's in New York. And I'm a member of that branch. So right? that is the headquarters? So, no, not really. But it, it can function as the headquarters whenever there is a problem in the headquarters and they know their job is to straighten out the problem so that the headquarters can be duly elected. So where is, in that time, where is the headquarters? We can now? function as... Sorry for your talk over uh, now still. But that's why I'm forgetting the question then. The headquarters then is in Harlem. Mm-hmm. So is that from Harlem? Is, 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 is it from Harlem? Is, is the headquarters in Harlem functioning? Is, is, is it operating? Yeah, they function, but they function unconstitutionally. Why is that? Why the, head, why the headquarters would be um, operating unconstitutional? It doesn't make sense. They, do they have never taken the time to study the constitution. Yeah, that's the reason. So it is such an easy reason to solve the problem. We bring them to the table, we discuss the constitution, we identify the errors, and then we correct them with one convention. So is that's it, as simple as that. Is it rasters at, at that headquarters in Harlem? Uh, I would answer majority, yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who's the president? Uh, who's the president there? That, even the one that is not Rasta, she said that her husband, mm. who, is de- who died, you know, I don't know how he died, but her husband who died was a member of the Ethiopian World Federation, so that is how she gets involved, right? So, so yeah, you know, um, I would say that is a Rasta. Mm-hmm. Same, so who is the but president that, there? There's five different presidents. There's five different presidents in the headquarters. Not one headquarters, you know, five different addresses in Harlem. Five different addresses in Harlem. Oh, okay. So, oh, no, uh, so, all right. I don't know. So, the headquarters don't have one address? No. See? No, they don't. How oh, that work? And if they, if, if, if they had one address, they would be able to go and get the money that is in the bank for them. So, all right, yeah. um, Washington, D.C., Zin, you yeah. have the White House there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. White House, does it have different, different address or it does have that up at Capitol Hill? Uh, now, does that address? It just have that one address. So, all we know, as, as Rasta people, don't understand this simple logic. That's a mystery to me. But then no, isn't it not really a mystery no? What it is, is that you know what them call haters? Mm. Haters. Haters? You so know what the, you ever hear that? Yeah man, you hear that? yeah man, we heard that term before. Well for all the while. Uh, even yesterday. We have haters. Yeah. Right? And haters will do anything to disturb the unity once the unity is identified. Mm. We did identify the unity. We did unite the Federation. We did unite black people. And it was in the year 2000. And the Supreme Court of New York State gave us a certificate to prove that we were certified by them. And that is a certificate we took to the Ethiopian government and then assured the government that the headquarters is now fully operational. And the, the, the Ethiopian government started to engage us again on Sheshimani. All right. So, that's basically it. 
they went and tell the court to move the certificate so that they could go and call themselves headquarters. If the court moved the certificate, there is nothing to prove that anyone is headquarters. Anyone can say them is headquarters. So that's what they did. Because they don't want the court involved in their business. That's what they say. But it's not their business, you know. This is black people business, a government of the people, by the people, for the people. And it is governed by governments. Every government around the world accepts it. You understand? And whenever we have legal matters, we take it to the court. That's natural. But they don't really see it like that. So you see, it's a lot of things that we need to talk about openly. Truth and reconciliation conference. Yes, we can have it online. And then now, all of the headquarters then come to the conference. All of them prepare to make some kind of statement as to what they have been doing for black people all these years and so on and so forth. And we just take it step by step until we can identify where there is division and see what is the division and then now correct it and then we can unify. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But what I'm saying is that um, Sheshimani is not the same as the headquarters. Sheshimani is the land grant. The headquarters is the constitution. All right? Sheshimani is not in the constitution. All right? So, Sheshimani has been established in Ethiopia by the Ethiopian government as an office called the country representative of the Ethiopian Royal Federation in Ethiopia. And they established that office for one single reason. Whenever they need to deal with a land, that's the office they want to deal with. They don't want to have court to New York. Right? And they had an experience with New York from 1948 until the year 2000, where there was no headquarters. There was no friendly person in the headquarters to go and deal with. That's the government of Ethiopia talking, right? Until Rasta come and take over the, the, the headquarters. We brought back the headquarters to Ethiopia and said to them, here it is. And then they say, okay, establish a subsidiary of the headquarters here in Ethiopia so that we can deal with the matter in Ethiopia and don't have to come to New York. Now, when they said that to us, you know, I didn't really understand what it meant. But afterwards, I, I could see what it meant. Yeah, it meant that the headquarters don't mash down again. I had all kind of people in it. And if the headquarters mash down again, the Ethiopian government do not want to be stuck behind them and can't do nothing with Sheshimani. They want to be free to develop Sheshimani while the headquarters are resolve its problem. So that's where Solomon Wolf come in. Solomon Roof is that country representative of the Ethiopian World Federation in Ethiopia. The legitimate representative of we the black peoples of the world who is now commissioned to build this city. Yeah, so that's what we need to be focused on because it's easier to build a city than it is to unite black people. Why? Black people are poor people. Poor people, they don't really have time for unity talk. Poor people have one thing on their mind, putting food on their family's table. I cannot blame them. So then uh, what, 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 what Solomon would decided to do was to develop the land and then show it to them and say, this is yours, come and get your share. And that is when now they would join the Federation by the millions, by the billions, so that they could get their share of one house, one garden, two and a half acres of the land. And you still own 22 and a half more acres, you know, because 25 acres per family. And you're only using one hectare, 10 hectares, one hectare to build the house. So you're going to have to go get together with your brothers and sisters, one nine, and say to them, all right, what shall we do with these nine? And you can decide anything you want to do. Yeah, anything, right? So that is what it is. Yeah. Rastafari, yes, I. 
Yeah, well done. It's clear. a tour. Yeah, man, it's a total plan. His Majesty think of everything, and then now uh, we are here now. Uh, I mean, who is with Solomon Wood? Because you see, Solomon will tell you, you know, you have people in the Federation who go behind him back and go to the Ethiopian government and present themselves to the Ethiopian government as the leaders to Shashimani. And the government of Ethiopia said to them, okay, we'll check it out and get back to you. And when you check it out and realize that there is some fraud, and Solomon Wood is the only legitimate one, they tell Salada and chase the, 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 the boy them out of Ethiopia. But then still in the federation, you understand? And then they, 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 it's like no one no one bring them up on the charges because all of the people in the federation or some. You understand? Yeah. I don't I really get too graphic, you know, because you know the program is a decent program. So I'm not really in decent. Yeah. But there's some wicked people in the federation. Yeah man. Wicked. Jano, yes sir, yes sir. Um, before, yeah, before before we we, we 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 move still, um, I just want to talk to the I R, you know, get some information from the I regarding um a letter or a statement that the Queen had 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 made in about 1961. You said, uh, or was it 1964? 1961 um granting granting black people i don't know if it was specifically um people in jamaica black people african people in jamaica a hundred and forty million pounds oh 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 that oh that um oh that did go you have the you have the article in front of you um Article is here. Uh, kind of struggle to get it up right here, so. Um, yeah, I'm kind of struggle to get it up, but there, there I could kind of paraphrase still um, about the whole thing if you could, you know? All right. <coughs> no. <coughs> this is when <coughs> this is where we do the work because we keep coming up with these documents and hearing what others had to say and do about the work which we are dealing with today. You know we came across this article in a magazine that was published in, in Black America called African Opinion Magazine. And in that magazine, there was an article that was headlined 140 million to aid recently. 140 million dollars to aid resettlement. That is the headline. Now, you read the article said. As a result of the Back to Africa mission, now the Back to Africa mission is a 1961 mission. We we'll go to Africa and pop up with the minority and the majority report. Right? You know about the mission there? Eh? The Back to Africa mission? Yeah, man. Yes, sir. All right. So she said, as a result of the Back to Africa mission, that toured Africa in 1961 and the favorable response received, the British government announced by press and radio in the persons of Queen Elizabeth II and Ian MacLeod, the former colonial secretary, that if the governments of Africa granted land for resettlement, the British government would grant the sum of $140 million to help the resettlement of people. No, to resettlement, resettlement of people 
of African descent from Jamaica. All right? And I don't read anymore. So what the Queen is saying then now, because of the 61 report and the favorable response it received in Africa, she and her government have 140 million dollars for it. If we can really show them say African government ready for deal with it. Alright. Now here comes the technical mission. Now his Majesty, you know, <coughs> in the 61 mission, he tell them, he said to them, say, who is not the right mission? Who is the unofficial mission? Tell the government to send me an official mission next year, a mission that I can deal with and make plans with. All right. So in a 62, then send the technical mission on an official government tour. <laughs> But the funny thing about it is the mother tell we Rasta who caused the first mission to go uh, because I we said to them them send the first mission in. So mm. when them were the second mission now, then we tell Rasta nothing about it. So we never know nothing about it. The mission go and come back with a report, then they will release it. So we never know nothing about it. It's not until 2010 that the, the report was released by the University of the West Indies at a conference they had at the, 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 the MoMA campus of the University 2010 called um, something another Rastafari. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what I'm calling it, but something another Rastafari, right? 2010. All right. They had that conference, and at that conference they released the report. So in 2010, I get the report for the first time and I read it. And when I read it, my brother, I must tell you, tears come to my eye. Tears come to my eye when I read it the first time. Because I said to myself, the government of Jamaica here to be in a rocky diet. Because them get something like this from the majesty. And them say, go we. Them not care about we. Them no one know nothing about we. Rasta me attacking. You know. Yeah. So that become apparent to me. The government of Jamaica not really love it. No, if I didn't get the report and bury it. Mm-hmm. And at the university of Oklahoma I have some sympathy for we that we are asked them about it, you know. We find out say it better. And we are said to them, say, hey university, we are so no have a, 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 a report, you know. And, and then put on a conference to celebrate 50 years of celebrating the first report. Now it was 2010, and the first report was 1960. So it's 50 years they must celebrate the first report and then have the conference. All right, so then release the third report. Now the first report is the Jamaica government. The second, no, the first report is the Rasta movement. The second report is the Jamaica government. And the third report is the Jamaica government. But the third report, them hide it from me. All right. So, and that happened now, yeah. So now that we get that report, that report is to serve today as a blueprint to resettle the diaspora. We are to follow the steps in that report so that we will know what to do when we want to settle these 100,000 people from the West to um, be integrated with 900,000 people from Ethiopia. Right. So that the, the report will be useful to us and it will not go to waste. Yeah. But we need to sit together and discuss it together so we can understand it together and then we can implement it together. Yeah. But reading it one away and one away, that, that don't help nothing. Yeah, one away, yeah, it will help you. But we need to be able to read it as a community. Yeah, that's what Rasta used to do in the early days, you know. Them used to call it Rasta read and reason. Because enough Rasta man couldn't read. So yeah, the Rasta man we could all read him just take the magazine and take the newspaper and take the book and read it. And then all the people sit down and I listen and stop him and say, Well on the little bit. So with that mean and we we all that and then when they, when, when, when it's done, everybody get a full understanding of what is happening. Yeah, so Rasta used to deal with it, you know. We need to go back to that. With this mission. 
Yeah, you are very clean, sir. And nobody never asked for money, you know. No, this is out of our own, no key volunteer in this. So when people are talking about reparation and all kind of things and what should happen and all kind of things, and them are joke, man. Then for come to the Federation and help me, because we represent the black people of the world. Nobody else. So, I got them for doing you know what I mean? Sin. Make we the Federation for them all to deal with it. Well, I hope everyone um, hear the word sound and would will be attentive to the call. You know, we're here um, reasoning with um, a member of the Ethiopian World Federation. Um, we kind of reach uh, a point in time, you know, where you know we have got we have got to seal up the reasoning still because you know we we, we reached a point there still. So we there have a reason with um, the Honourable um, Ronald um, Pinnacook, Zine of the Ethiopian World Federation. Um, uh, final words, Honourable. You know, cause we're gonna have to seal up, you know. Well, my final words is that love for black people is essential in everything we do. So I can say I love my people, trust me. Even though I'm going to trouble, I love them. But they're not to give us no trouble. We must have mechanisms where we can put them in check. Yeah, and that is what it is. But we love our people. Yeah, I know as a matter of fact, we love everybody. Yeah, we don't have no hatred for no one. We love everyone, but we're especially looking out for our people. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Give thanks, honorable, and um, it was great, you know, reasoning with the eye and you know, um, all the insight and you know the 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 positive information that the I have to share with us you know and i hope ones can take it on board and apply it and you know see how we can you know what i mean work together and achieve together so manners and respect um uh, more love more strength and you know your guidance and protection um and the journey said we you know yes i yes i want love yeah man peace and love rastafari powers and blessing Yes, my people. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Um, was reasoning there with the honorable Bridgin, Ronald Pinnacook. Yeah, man. From the Ethiopian Royal Federation. Yeah, man. Give thanks to such um, clearance and what is happening, you know, presently with the organization um, for black people globally all right yes family so talk to me in the comment section you know i guess so we can reason you know but before so um we have some new merch out i would love the item to support what is happening zane support our t-shirts um you know support the closing line support the brand i just started a mindset zane yeah man would give thanks we're gonna leave the link in the description yeah, all right so manners and respect peace and love and um what good holy man will lie king selassie i ja rastafari bless and sanctify sanctify and bless <laughs> see you on the the mindset See you on the next video. I just got the mindset.